Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, we're back doing another tutorial today. Uh, I've got a few requests from you guys in the comments. Uh, some of you want to see a boat throttle. Uh, and what I mean by that is we want forward, neutral, and then reverse all on the actual throttle. So we're going to go ahead and jump in the workbench. We're going to do that today, show you guys how to do that, and hopefully it'll help you guys out. All right, so we're here in the workbench. We've got our we've got our engine that we're using on most of our tutorials here. Uh, I think everything's good there. Uh, I guess let's just start out with a micro, micro blah, 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 blah. let's just start out with a mi brand new microcontroller. Uh, if you guys want to integrate any of the other systems that we've done with the key throttle or the seat control, you can. Uh, I'm just going to do a brand new microcontroller for the sake of this tutorial, so that we don't get too confused with all the extra little lines and stuff being dragged across. Let's get ourselves a brand new microcontroller. All right, so we're gonna need a couple nodes here. Uh, we're gonna need four of them, uh, so we can go ahead and plop those in. Uh, the first one we're gonna need is a number. It's gonna be an input, and this is gonna be our throttle. You know, I like caps. They look nicer, they look cleaner. Do that, throttle. We're gonna need an output to clutch. And two more numbers, and both of these are gonna be outputs as well. One is to engine. And the last one is to clutch. All right, let's spread these out, get these all nice and neat. Uh, let's come over here. Uh, what are we calling this? Boat throttle. We're gonna paste it in both. That way we know what, what's, what's what. Um, and then we can, I guess, draw a little boat here. And then we'll do a little throttle. Is this a throttle? I don't know, is this a throttle? It doesn't look like a throttle. Uh, we'll just do... That is not like a throttle. Um, uh, now we're getting now we're getting into. I don't know. There, boat throttle looks like uh, it's a throttle. It's a throttle. All right, let's. Uh, everything here is good. Let's get over into the logic. Let's start spreading some of the stuff out to engine to clutch, the clutch, and throttle is going to be over here. Let's spread these out a little bit. All right, so we're first. I'm going to need is a constant number. Constant. Constant on, constant number. Uh, we're gonna need two of these. And we're gonna set these both at one. So just, just one, just one, that's all we need. Perfect, perfect. Spread those out a little bit. Uh, we're gonna need a couple threshold gates. Had it, there we go. One, two, and three. Uh, spread that out a little nicer. All right, so what we can do here from our throttle, let's go ahead and connect these into the threshold gates. And this, these thresholds are gonna control our forward, neutral, and reverse. And that's what this little setup here is for. We're gonna get a switch box, numerical switch box. We need two of those. All right. The first constant number is gonna go into this switch box and the bottom constant number is going into this switch box. All right, so our threshold, our top threshold here, uh, high threshold is gonna be set at one. That's, that's perfect, that's what we need. And our low threshold is going to be Oh, I don't know. Let's say point. All right, we'll go point two on this one. Let's say uh, in the middle, let's do a oh high threshold of point one nine. We'll get right up underneath that, and then we'll do the same thing here. Point one nine. All right, so this is going to be our neutral. This is our forward, and then this here is going to be our reverse. And we're just going to do a negative. That's not a negative. Uh, negative point two. All right, and from there, let's see, let's get our first threshold. We're gonna go into this numerical box. Uh, the second, the bottom one is gonna go down into this numerical box and it's gonna come all the way over into our clutch. And actually, this is wrong, you guys. I need to go back and fix something. Uh, it's not to clutch, it's to gearbox, the gearbox. I thought that felt a little weird, uh, having two clutch buttons there. Okay, so that's going to the gearbox. It makes a lot more sense now that that's what we're going after. Uh, I need an up-down counter. And we're running out of room here, so I'm gonna move down and we're gonna slide this over. Uh, we're also gonna need an add block and a greater than. Oh, you want you you want to you want to be placed. There you go. Add and we want a greater than. We're gonna slap that in there. Bottom value here, top value here. Straight into greater than, greater than, straight into the up down counter, and then our neutral comes straight into the reset for the up down counter. Okay. 
So we're going to do increments of one. Our reset value is zero. Uh, we're going to enable the clamp. And let's say the minimum range is going to be 0 0.25. Uh, and you can go in and change these numbers uh, how you see fit if you want more sensitive or less sensitive responses to the throttle. All right, and then this one goes straight into clutch. Engine can come up. We'll move this out of the way. All right. Following so far? Great. All right. Two more things here. We're going to get an ABS, an absolute value. Uh, no, ABS. We're going to grab an absolute value of the throttle. Simple enough. We're gonna send that to a clamp, and that clamp's gonna go straight to the engine. Uh, and these numbers here, minimum value, 0.1, max value, one. And all of this should be good to go now. Uh, let's, let's test this out, let's plug this in, you know, let's save it, and then install it. All right, now that we've built it, let's go ahead and hook this up. Let's go ahead and get our boat microcontroller here, our boat throttle. Uh, before we hook it up, actually, let's come over here. We need to do some changes here. Uh, let's move this all down. Uh, so we're going to cut it, slide it down. Uh, I think, yep, we need to slide it down one more. Uh, let's paste that. We come in here and we're going to grab a clutch. Uh, we're going to get the modular engine clutch. And you want this facing towards the engine. Uh, you want this to go from pipe to pipe and then to crankshaft here. You're having trouble, that's why. Put another flywheel on, grab that, put that on. So now you have pipe to pipe, to crankshaft piece, to crankshaft piece, back to pipe, and now all this should work. Let's get a propeller here. Uh, we'll put that on. Uh, let's go ahead and paint that orange, why not? That's the wrong orange that we're using. There we go. All right, so also we're gonna need a push button here. Since we're not using our key controlled microcontroller anymore. But all this stuff can be integrated into one microcontroller. Uh, so if you guys wanted to do that. Okay, so we have start up our engine to gearbox, to gearbox. Okay, here's our gearbox there. Throttle's gonna come in. We're gonna go to the engine. And then to clutch. There we go. Uh, now these other two clutches, they need to be on constantly. So we're just going to get ourselves, blah, 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 blah. we're going to get ourselves a constant on. We'll just slap that down right there. You can actually build this into the microcontroller if you want. Just put an on in there as well. Uh, you know what? I messed up. Not a constant on, a constant number. But we want them to constantly be on. That's that's what I'm thinking in my head. Okay, so there, there. Let's change this to a one. And we should be. Oh, we got to check our check our throttle here. Okay, minimum value is gonna be a negative one because we want that to go into the reverse. Uh, we're gonna say the center is right, starter. Uh, let's check our gearbox here real quick. We wanna make sure that one of them is a negative one. There we go. Uh, let's test this out. All right, here we go. All right, so we are in neutral. Oh, 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 okay, that needs to be connected. We're just gonna connect that up. Now that all that's connected up, let's try that again. One last thing, guys, make sure you uh, hook up all your electric. Make sure it all, all goes together. All right, it's starting to crank, but we have no gas. All right, we are spooling up here. So what we're doing is the engine is providing power to the flywheel. Uh, and when we change gears, uh, the gear is gonna take power from the flywheel instead of the engine, which will you know keep the engine from stalling out. All right, so we are, we are, hauling, we are hauling butt in one direction. Let's uh, take it back into neutral and then back into reverse. Just like that. And you can tell it's working the opposite direction because there's no negative on it anymore. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Back into forward again. So guys, there you go. That is how you build a boat throttle or what most people recognize as a boat throttle, forward, neutral, and reverse on it. Uh, I hope this video has helped you guys out. If it has, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If it did help out, make sure you share it with some of your friends. Maybe they can uh, make some good boats as well. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for making it to the end and we'll see you in the next one.